go ahead and start up the YouTube recording now. Actually, it occurs to me that it is on the correct output, right? Video. Uh, it should be. I'm gonna hope it is. <laughs> Thank you, Activision, for blowing up my fucking eardrums. Uh, let me lower this audio a smidge. It should be fine. I think that, I think that icon, I think the loading screen uh, symbol is just a bit too loud. Overall, that should be fine. Dead 36. I'm, uh, you, I'm recording audio with a uh, different method this time. <sighs> now I think it's too low. Actually, I don't know what to do. Hold on. Hold the fuck. I'm going to Twitch. I, that, this is what I can do here. Uh, it would help if I would click the correct, uh, correct buttons. Here, one quick thing. Get my desktop audio here. And... Actually, it occurs to me that that's not going to work. Cause that shit's quick as fuck. It actually should be fine looking at the uh, desktop audio now. It should be fine, TM. Just looking at the general bars. It's about halfway up green, which is about where I, where I want it to be. Since I go just just slightly above green, I go slightly into yellows, which is still fine. It only really goes like close to red when I spike, so. Hey, let me quickly go get it. Oh, I feel like, is it him I needed to hit with that or? I did someone like with this. Was it you? They have to be one of these guys. Is it him? Or do they have to be a Tentor? I know this is an achievement for doing something here. I forget if I got you fucking pushed to goddamn. <clears throat> there we go. That was a trophy that I wanted. Okay, uh, we did Dry Canyon and Cliff Town. We still have the Speedway. So this is the exit, yeah. Dry Canyon, that's Cliff Town. Oh no, it's Dr. Shemp, that's right. Just something about this game specifically, I just cannot remember where all the fucking portals are. I'm just going to night flight. There's ice cavern they have to go to, and then there's another another desert level that I can't remember. I'm just pretty sure there is. Hate the flying controls. Thankfully, this one appears to be a bit more concrete with what the route's supposed to be. Oh, and then that shit happens. I'm just gonna hope I hit in this one. So I can do there. The angle there was too sharp. I couldn't really make that. Oh, 
Oh my god, like, when Spyro goes up, it feels awful. I suppose I'm supposed to go up with the X button, not really... I don't know, this is just where it looked like I was supposed to go. This is not where I was supposed to go. This is actually one big bamboozle. It's got fucking up played, dude. Oh, because this was the route for the, uh, the rings. Okay, wow, that is strict to get that. But I just saved like three seconds. Yeah, I'm actually super ahead of my previous time. I think I bounced off of that in a way that I wasn't supposed to, it kind of sucked. Oh, please stop bouncing off of them, Spyro. That's actually pretty suboptimal. It's, oh, it's a hard left, you're a whore. Where are they? Wait, is this seriously a hard left followed immediately by a hard right? Oh, it's horrible. No, they really only start to use like 23 seconds too. You know what? Fuck you. Fuck your route. What if I just did it my own way? Blackjack and hookers. You ever consider that? If I just completely ignored your route? Right, just zigzag across the entire fucking stage. And then bump into everything. You ever consider that, hmm? Is that something that's crossed your mind before? Yeah, it starts at 25. I think... I'm gonna get the treasure chest and see... If there's another potential route I could be taking here. Because there's too many... Like, I feel like the lighthouses are in both directions. No, it goes directly into the rings. Actually, kind of does both. Yeah, it does both. Yeah, that's what's happening. It wants me to do both at the same time. It's either that or it wants me to, like, kind of double back. Try doubling back after the, um... After the gates. Thankfully, this game has the hardest speedways. Because these speedways don't feel like they have any, like, order. They just feel more clumsily built, is the best way to describe them. Oh, you know what? I think I have to continue going hard left. 
gonna keep tabs what I'm gonna keep tabs what it looks like past the tunnel here. Yeah, because that lighthouse pops up there. Maybe. That might that might be what's happening. I missed the fucking treasure chest. That's tilting. I could just turn around and go straight into fucking treasure chests. Since rings are the easiest. And it would actually put me right in front of a, of a lighthouse too. I guess double back in those paper chests. It would make me do this backwards though, which would be awkward. Missed the treasure chest again. You know what, I'm gonna try doubling back for treasures. Fucking arc, dude. Fucking Christ, dude. It's so cramped. Like, it's so obnoxiously cramped. That was some serious cheese I was pulling off there. If they actually let me do that, that would've been nuts. Look what kind of pro strat that I just discovered. Let's just go for fucking lighthouses after chests and then double back for arcs since arcs aren't super hard. I don't have any options. Huh. Did I miss one? I think I missed one. Yeah, in this one. I might as well practice this route.
Yeah, even the fairies want me to go that way. I think it's... I do think it's rings, chest, lighthouse, arc. Too bad I am hard-headed. It would be too convenient if that was the last arc in the fucking row, wouldn't it be? Ugh. Actually, that's the last arc right there. Problem is, I don't know if I'm on pace or not. I was only six items off that time, at least. bottom rings here. No, three rings. Grab these rings here. Come back around. Grab this one. I don't think I lost any time there doing that. Yeah, I mean, if anything, I actually had the pace I had. To er I missed the fucking chest again, dude. Well, at least I can practice see if this works. Problem is, once I get here... I get this one, then I double back. Yeah. This is the route. I don't know if this was the intended route, but this is the route. Oh my god. <laughs> Dude. I figured it out. That's the most obnoxious routing. Oh my god, okay. I don't know if that was intended or not, but this route's fucking obnoxious. I swear to god, I hope this was not intended. Hey, don't miss the chest, Ray. You fucking mong. I missed it again. I can't fucking hit it. No, it's just me mistiming the flame breath, or misaiming it, rather. It's just, fuck, I suck, man. Spiral one's obnoxious, but like, god damn, dude. That's like, next level obnoxion. If that's even a word. Alright, let's see if I miss a chest thrice in a row. That, ch that low chest is the final boss. God, by the way. Oh, 
Please, no, not like this. Please don't tell me that this was the intended route. That was stupid. That was the most obnoxious fucking routing. For one goddamn level. One second. Thank God you don't lose lives when you fuck up the speedways. Let's just do Dr. Shemp. And then I can go to Ice Cavern. And I think that might be it for Peacekeepers. I disagree, I was charging. I was charging, I disagree! Wow, I barely made that. Oh, there's just gems, apparently. Oh, there's another gem down there, lol. Do I get... No, I have to wait for later, I guess. Probably in the, in the stage, rather. Or it's just hiding over here, too, so that also works. Nice. Uh, one gem. Granted, it is a 25, but, like... That doesn't really mean anything. That don't really mean nothing. Dr. Shemp, this is so cool. You don't know what it's been like listening to him over and over. But I tell you one thing, he should watch his back. This dragon has a knife. Just wanna just wanna point that out. That that dragon hike he had a knife. How do I beat Dr. Is there a flame in the ass? Yeah. I don't remember how to beat you. Sir, how do I beat you? Oh, okay. <laughs> I see now. Oh. 
Hey, the, uh, the swing is an actual hitbox, by the way. I wasn't actually a pay I wasn't actually, like, looking at his first attack, by the way. Are you charging me, or...? Very hard phase. There are actually twenty six gems in here. I'm missing a gem. Is that in the hallway? He was triggered. Must say, that one knows me quicker than the speedway. Cavern? I literally don't even remember. Found it. <laughs> I'm dying! So, like, the roll, right? What the fuck was the purpose of this? I say it's a nice aesthetic change, but it's kind of eyesoring. It hurts my eyes a little bit to look at this place. Sir, word of caution, little one. Wait until you grow big, <clears throat> like me, before charging those large enemies. Flame the big ones. Got it. Pretty sure your flame breath is just a better attack overall than that, I think. The more I think about it. Has range. It doesn't come out as quick, but I mean, it's a lasting hitbox, so you kind of spin around in circles. I'm pretty sure it just works on more enemies.
I don't see how one has anything to do with the other, but okay. I don't see how armor makes your feet slippery. Pretty sure it's just ice makes your feet slippery. I'm pretty sure that's just how science works. I don't see how that has anything to do with armor. Ever. I'm just here for shinies. Give me all your shekels. There's a key back here somewhere. Shout out for the jumping chest out of literally two. Like there's literally nothing in them. Granted, like all these gems inherently are. Oh my god, dude! The fucking placement on that. I'm triggered. Why do they just... Didn't you have to jump into them in the original? God damn it. Nope, I have to go back. Go back. The placement on that fucking portal is awful. That like, guy's straight up atrocious. Just speed on so I can get back to where I was, basically. Oh, is this a fucking... Now I remember. That being the biggest piece of shit jump. Until treetops, that is. right here, right? See, that's a complicated enemy. You have to ram into him twice. Very tricky. 
Because the first one doesn't kill him, so you have to, like, think outside the box. Alright, the first one didn't kill him. How do I beat him? You have to do it twice. A trophy! Achievement! Funk. All right, big dick, biggie. All right. um, ready for what? Did he just dab? Do it again. Do it again, dickhead. Flex. Yep. Okay. Hey, man. What do you do? Ah. Fuck you. I know some guys in, um, three dab. But nope, can't stand on that wall. Oh yeah, I forgot the treasure chest wall. Oh no, he's doing the flexing pose. He's doing the uh, Johnny Bravo. High-level movement tech. I'm gonna be off by one again, I think. I'm off by 16. That's a little less tilting. Below me? Oh. I see now. This is the passion of my fucking ascension, dude. That was a big core. They were up there, weren't they? I'm noticing another one. I just didn't remember where. There it is. Too fast. <laughs> All right. Maybe, maybe, maybe not too much speed tech. <laughs> okay, if I want to like, what? I see. I have many questions about what just happened. I definitely just fell through that. No, I deserve to die there because I'm stupid, but like, the death animation. I fell through the floor. Alright, there we go. Who the fuck about, Doug? Get me the fuck about, my.
Is that everything in Peacekeepers? So I don't even fucking know. It doesn't actually tell me. That's kind of annoying. Will it tell me at the balloon or no? I can't believe how fast you found so much stolen treasure. Hop aboard for the Magic Crafters world if you're ready. Hop on, Spyro. Magic Crafters. In my youth, it was Magic Crafters where I usually stopped, started dropping out because certain things in Magic Crafters is bullshit. There's a lot of just awkward design choices in Magic Crafters. That makes make that makes traversing certain levels really awkward. Like, wow, I didn't, didn't even notice that, that was war lava. Okay. Oh yeah, the armored wall. Armored mages on Mega Wall. Do I actually just have to catch him in a small ass corridor? Yeah, I can go do that thing where I just cancel breath 45 times in a row. You have to like completely stop holding down square in order to not cancel breath. Because of these dickheads that make this place confusing. They make traversing magic rafters obnoxious. That's a super awkward route, dude. Just running around in a circle. Like, more so than usual. When you see arrows like these, you can charge along with them to begin a supercharge. Supercharge? Excellent. Go ahead. Try it. The 
This portal leads to a special place where you can learn to fly. I remember when I was a young dragon, earning my wings. Learn to fly. Got it. I guess there's a key around here somewhere. There he is, boys, blow hard. I also like how the redemption of a wizard in this game is just a dude, like just a fucking grandpa in boxers. I think it's like 50 dragons. Well, I can't even really go to Beastmakers right now if I wanted to. That's kind of nuts. Oh yeah, I got supercharged into it. That's what happened. Pretty sure that's what I have to do anyway. Yep. Get the supercharge into it. up here. I was actually like on the money about that. I just didn't know where the thing was. Actually, it's hard to make that angle. It's like a really obnoxious angle to hit. I went too far. The problem is that you can't see it until you're like too deep in. Got it. Loser. All right, let's go to Crystal Flight. Let's get this the fucking course out of the way. Drift the speedways. I'm also dropping frames for some reason, but I'm just not gonna worry about it. I dropped 84 frames. That's like literally whatever.
Did I go after the planes purely out of habit? Yes, yes I did. Why do you ask? I missed. Please end my pitiful existence. Thanks for breaking the schedule program. Oh my god, dude. That's obnoxious placement. Like, straight up. I missed. Plane that I missed. God, that's obnoxious. Why is it up against the wall, dude? Oh, where's the last plane, dude? Oh, this is cringe. It was literally one fucking plane, I just didn't know where he was. Let's go do an intended order. I say that as I'm gonna drive by some of the planes on the way over there. It's purely because of that gate positioning that makes me think that they don't want you to go after them one at a time. I just missed all of them. What, I missed. I got one actually. I lied. I have two. I like super lied. I'm like a regular liar. Pro gamer move. They did not go the way I thought they were going to go. That's awkward.
I wasted so much time trying to catch them. You have to stop. You, have, you literally have to spawn mid flame breath in order to catch all of them there. Oh my god, but I got all of them. That was nuts. I have, four, I have 40 seconds on the board. And planes are completely out of the picture. There's probably a way of getting that part done quicker. Oh, the way we ended with fucking 17 seconds remaining on the board. That was nuts. 109. That's really good. I'm actually curious. What's the fastest people can do that level? Was oh, that Crystal Flight? Fifty seconds. It's pretty good. I honestly see it. Literally, dude. I think that optimization comes in from what uh, the um, the last arch. It's probably literally just the last arch. Yeah, I should probably go back to the beginning of the level and start from there. Work my way forward. Probably not just jump in the fucking lava water for no fucking reason. Okay, so there's nothing in there. So we can start at the Alpine Ridge. The fact these guys have armor is super fucking annoying, by the way. Oh, I see. I see the gag. Like, it's not even effective, you're just a dickhead. Like, that's the pure fact there, is that it's not effective, you're just being a dick. Uh, 
Oh my god, dude. Hate these things. I'm not, I'm not afraid of them, but fuck, man, are they obnoxious. Alright. Nice guy. Oh, don't worry, I just wholesale whiff. Don't worry too much about it. Nope, sir, give me a second. There you go. Nailed it. I'm like super good at this game, by the way. Me missing every charge of planet Earth. I, uh, I backed up for style points, definitely not because I missed. I assume there's 400 treasure in this fucking world. So I'm off by probably about approximately 69. Nice. Well, that actually hurts me, like, for real, for real. Okay, make the jump. I actually have to run back through the entire stage in order to fucking backtrack. Oh, this level sucks! The only way to get back to that prior platform is just go all the way around the stage again. Those right here is fine, actually. Ah, uh, okay. I see. Damn it. One sec. Kind of want a lip balm. I'm dying. God, this one creates such a large gap so quickly. Like, that gap he makes right there is absurd. Got him. He was just about to suck in the wholesale sprint again, so I had to get that off then. Remember 
that these blue thieves have stolen eggs outside the Magic Crafters world as well. Don't worry, I'll take care of that. So shout out to these dragons who have been like imprisoned for like a hot minute. And the first thing that they decide to do is just give advice and then leave. Like they've been watching the entire time. It's just interesting to think about. Oh, yeah, I just fucked up the jump. What about it? Psh, shut up, trophy. Don't laugh at me. Can I get the trophy again? It's all the way back there, huh? Yeah, that's unfortunate. This little side section here. What the fuck are these tickets doing? You know what? Ain't important. Have to run all the way back around. Try to figure out a way up there. Struggling to breathe, I don't know why. It's kinda 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 unlucky. It's like super awkward. Imagine not being able to breathe in 2K20. Yep, I'm super good at this game. I guess I can try to make a jump from here. Okay, bud. You always end up with these back end, I'll go up. That gem's the last one, then we can get the hell out of here. Just for completion purposes, let's just guess the exit. It's not very far. Thankfully, Worlds and Spiral 1 are not very big. Like, they're not typically big in any Spiral game, but, like, you can feel how short they are in this game. There's no internal plot really going on inside any of the worlds. Like, starting with Spyro 2 and 3, there was like a small subplot going on in each of the worlds that you had to resolve. Don't really have to do that in this game.
High caves. I think high caves is very boost pad oriented. I know one of these are. I just got fucking sniped. That sucked. He just hit me. He wasn't even looking at me. This guy's insane. Yo, FaZe, where are you, dog? Got your newest member right here. Yo, shout out to Gen 4. Please do something about these green druids. They insist on moving everything in sight. The fuck? Wait, what? Are they supposed to be there? What's happening here? Ah! Ah, I see. Where am I? I think I'm at where I was, actually. I hate those bugs. When I become big and strong like you, I'll squash them all. Until then, remember that supercharge makes you invincible. Oh, these spider looking things man thank god you don't look like an actual like you're i'm looking at you primarily just so i can get used to what you look like but like thank god you don't look more like an actual spider like you terrify me but like i completely forgot that there were giant spiders in this game Come here, pussy. Hey, more of you? What's up, bitch? What's up, dickhead? Now I'm at the beginning of the stage again. I think I killed all of them that would potentially even be in here, so I'm gonna run back through here. They appear to be made out of metal, and they appear to be too heavy for me to actually charge normally. If this were any other game, me being in here would make me shit my fucking pants. If this were literally any other fucking game... I'm getting unnerved being in here in a spiral game. Let me tell you, dude, in uh, Xenoblade, I was having a bad time, dude. Xenoblade, Xenoblade 2 made me, who made me queasy. I was not having a good time.
There's a uh, there's a cave towards the end of the game that limits your that uh, inhibits your power. And there's at the tail end of that cave there's a big fucking room that has nothing but the uh, Iraq Iraqi enemies. And there's also a, uh, a, a an optional boss. It's like a mark or something. And it literally just comes right the fuck out of nowhere to scare the piss out of me. Try combining your supercharge with jumping and gliding, and really explore the high caves. Uh, I suppose I could jump into them using the the trick. Uh, how do I get into that? Because I could be inhibited by the the bridge there. I just gotta take a sharper angle to get into the other one, I guess. Or I feel like I just jumped over looking at it again. But that won't that wouldn't look nearly as cool. Actually, yeah, now I have to jump from here. Actually, yeah, no, I think you have to jump into this one normally, or else you just be able to supercharge this guy down. Although, admittedly, thinking about that, the speed tech for that would be sex. <clears throat> I'm with the fucking supercharge, dude. I got with the charge, rather. I think this might be more in Spider Cave. Yeah. Oh, because there's multiple routes in here. Wait, there's multiple routes in here. If there's multiple routes in here, then I am not looking forward to this other one. Wizard... Spider. I do not see the possibility- actually, I might be able to do like a super cool jump up there. Can I do that? Is that something in my capability of doing? No, absolutely not. I hate this. Nope, you are invincible when you scare the fuck out of me. I hate this. Oh, I hate this. <sighs> okay, well... Hmm. You're a whore. Hey, can you do something good, please? Suck a dick, bitch!
I fucking agree. I fucking agree. Oh my dear fucking lord. Well, it's not where you could do this. I'm really out here getting jump scared in a Spyro game, dude. What the fuck? I don't do spiders, man. Now I remember the rest of them are, I'm gonna be honest. Oh, since the game told me. Hell, the PS4 told me that there are no more, so I'm good. For fact, I'm good. Yeah, I have to jump over there. Oh, there's another fucking thing. I'm not gonna say I'm sick with it or anything. Uh, if I could, like, never see those enemies again in my life, that'd be actually be preferable. Just don't make spiders enemies. I don't like fighting them. I'm very arachnophobic. I don't like looking at them. I don't like their existence. Yeah, they, every single world is one, two, three, four worlds. So there's one more after Wizard Peak, and then we can go into Blowhard. Wow, that actually hit me. That's triggering. Wow. These guys are fucking snipers. Oh, you were just camping out there, you... Well, okay. That's some fucking COD campers, dude. That sucks.
Yeah, I think with these guys, I literally just have to bait out the attack and then kill them. I actually have to use a brain cell to be in an enemy to Spyro game. That's pretty upsetting. I suppose I can also just flame breath before I can I think I have to get the attack off. Welcome to Wizard Peak. This is my favorite supercharged spot. Use it to bash those wizards. They're just lining up, boys. Ah. Oh my god, okay. Oh yeah, this is the one where I have to like, style on the game. Then I got all three of those in one jump. Lucas! Big A fire! Big A fire! Probably nesting, but. In the artisan's home world near the waterfall. Try jumping on the stones there. Artisan's home world? Waterfall. Sounds good. Where did this at? I don't remember the exact path for this. I think it was just you go down here twice. I don't remember the exact. Oh, probably I'm supposed to go straight fucking dunce. Right? Oh, no. Um, oh, I should know. That's one of the things I'm supposed to do. Active in fucking wizard feet. Probably because you're not gonna find that one easily, because he's in a super awkward location. Am I supposed to glide over there? Yes. And I'm gonna say, so here's being my only way out, to glide to this fuck platform. Oh, yes, that small little fucking door right there. Okay.
So you can use this platform as a hint as to uh, that being there. There's a fucking thing over here somewhere. Yeah, they're all over, they're all over there. How do I get over there without killing myself? Probably just so easy, right? Please say yes. Okay, my stomach is actually acting up. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. All right. Let us continue. How does one actually get over there, though? Is the question. There's a guy up there, too. Can we use this somehow? Almost actually. I think we actually went up a few more hills to get to jump up there. Too far. I couldn't stop it. <laughs> Couldn't stop it. That was unlucky, to be honest.
You have to get so close in order to make that jump. Yeah, I keep wanting to see the fucking pit in the middle. Wow, that's actually like a precise jump. It's actually like a you have to be good at video games jump. This fucking jump is obnoxious. Okay, no, I can't go behind the fucking skybox and do this shit. I'll see if I can get like a super cheeky jump there. Yeah, no, I can't jump up there with other means. Looking at further. This just leads to that one. Damn this, you have to be good at video games, jump dude. I think if I go chicken run around with this. God, it's such a precise jump, dude. Is that I don't even know if I'm jumping too early or too late either. I got out there once, so I know it's possible. I'll probably help I actually look at the game. God. Damn it. Then the one time I made it, that was fucking crazy, right? Okay, let's try it. I have to get up there too, there's fucking money up there. I think I have to jump later. Well, that should be like a super obvious easier way of doing this. I'm just not noticing. Okay, that was purely out of boredom.
I'm gonna be honest. Brought the rest of them? Seriously, just up there? I guess. Stop! Okay. I had to aim for the fucking corner. That was obnoxious. It's like in the ceiling, I guess? There's this guy later on. I actually have to supercharge this entire fucking place. Thankfully, it doesn't appear to be as long as the jump, so I can just go off of this one. Wow, that is... Whew, I have to land on this. And then quickly aim my jump to go fucking up and left. God, and getting into these fucking holes, dude. Holy shit. This is obnoxious. I'm nuts. Uh, how does one get onto the roof? What? I don't understand that one, Chief. Dude, I just don't like magic makers. I'm gonna be honest. Wow, I actually just tripped. I actually want to just die. That's that. Oh, I want to die, dude. I did just die. Not mean to go that far. I'm just dying because I feel like dying. End my pitiful existence. <laughs> hey, maybe I shouldn't be overrun with tilt and just complete the goddamn stage. Every single time I go off an edge, I shit my pants. Like, I'm not even fucking joking.
Get me out, dog. Like, no meme, get me out. That's beginning a stage, I don't know where I am though. That was... Oh, that was an experience, dude. That was a goddamn experience. Last one. Probably be closer to the balloon. Looks like I can remember how to get to said balloon. Well, no, actually, we're at the thing at the balloon. Yeah, I would think it would just just be blowhard. Oh yeah, no. Hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six. Two, three, yeah, it is just blowhard. Confronting blowhard. This boss's name is blowhard. It's funny because it's a, it's a blowjob joke. Fucking wizards look like heartless and you can't change their mind. Like VV, I suppose you could also you could also claim. I suppose VV's become so synonymous with the wizard image. Or are you blowhard? Are you the blowhard? Confronting Blowhard. I'm assuming you are Mr. Blowhard.
Yeah, and that was really hard. <laughs> Click 400 gems and blow hard. It's like C. But everything is sweet thus far. I legit thought he was a fucking normal enemy at first. I was really confused why he didn't die at first. Thank you, Spyro. Hop aboard. Would you like to go? Uh, it's just landing beastmakers, then we can call it a wrap here. I need to get better solo commentary. Let me be honest. Not the best at it. Alright. Uh, what does the guidebook sell? Fuck, that's too much. What does the guidebook say we're at? 52% game completion. Uh, that, that's about fair. The, my bar is blocking it, but I assure you it, it's, it says 52. Uh, whatever. It's a little too late for this now. Yeah, but yeah, 52% uh, with 2 hours 18 minutes on the play time. That's about fair. Alright. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a stream, I guess. Uh, it's, next time we'll beat Beastmakers and maybe whatever the fifth one is. And then the last stream will be us uh, cleaning up achievements. And um, finishing up this game. And then going to the... Uh, into Spyro 2, territory I'm actually familiar, familiar with. But, uh, until next stream, people, fucking get the hell out of my house.